Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to finish the front cross member and get the frame welded into one piece. Alright, so I've spent the past two hours or so aligning this frame here, and I'm going to explain to you right now how I did that. What you need first is two reference points on the front and the rear cross members. So back here, I have these two holes right here and right there. Those are two factory holes on this cross member. I know those are going to be accurate to each other. Then when I made this base for the front cross member up here, after I drilled this center hole, I made these two reference marks with a center punch um, on either side, one's under here. So I know that those two points are accurate to each other. Then you need to make sure that the front and the rear are aligned with each other so you won't be going down the road sideways. So what I made to hold the wire up here is just a wood block here with a screw in it and that screw sticks out a little bit on the bottom which holds this wire here. And this wire back here is connected to this thing here this like scribe or whatever. It really doesn't matter as long as it has a nice point on there that you can use for reference here. Then you pull the pull the wire tight and you can see here that that comes right to the edge of that hole right there. And when I check it on what you do is you measure it from the front left to the back right and then the front right to the back left in an X formation. And you want those to be the same measurements. And then what I also did just after that to make sure was um, I measured them parallel as well, so left to the left and then right to right. And I've spent about two hours doing this and I got it to within, definitely within a sixteenth of an inch. And that, that's pretty good. You definitely want to be within an eighth of an inch is what I've, what I've read online, um, but a sixteenth should be, should be good. So what I'm going to do as well up here is you have to set the caster angle of this front cross member, which how much you want it lean back like this and from what I've read online is you want it to be about seven degrees and I just have this this level measure here on my phone and you can see right now it's it's a lot more than that it's almost 12 degrees but that's fine because all I'm going to do up here is I'm going to put a tack weld right there and then right there and then I can hinge this down very carefully in the front to get it exactly where I want it so what I'm going to do is put a couple tack welds on the front here, put a couple little tacks on the back, measure it again to make sure it's still aligned because when you put a weld on that like that, once the metal cools, it'll pull the metal in and it can throw it out of whack. So you want to be very careful when you're doing this because this sets the base of everything you do from this point on. If the frame's off, everything else you're going to do is going to be off. So these are like the most important measurements when you're building a frame like this.
All right, so now I have both cross members welded into place. I have the front cross member made up here. I think that turned out really nice. I'm loving the look of that, um, how it kind of widens at the back there. I think it gives it a nice look and still, how it's still kind of flat on the front. And you can see I have the, the front spring just kind of clamped in there to give you an idea of how that's going to look. And all I have to do now for these really is I'll flip the frame upside down and um, weld the bottom sides of all of this. And then after I do that, the basic frame will be we'll done. See. So the next thing I'm going to do is probably work on the front end here. I need to make some, some brackets to mount the spring right there. So that will be probably the next thing I do. And then figure out the situation with the axle. I'm thinking about not actually using that I-beam axle that I have way over there. Um, I might have something else lined up, so we'll see what works out with that. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.